first of all, uh, I'm glad to see so many people here. Thank you for coming. Um, before we start, one small thing. I would ask you to disable your microphones. Let me do it manually. Uh, okay, and... Um, all right. So I would only uh, allow Boris and Tamara to switch on their mics. And uh, I would uh, I would like to ask you guys to write down your questions uh, if you have any during the presentation in the chat. And in the very end, after the theoretical part, you'll have the opportunity to switch on your microphones and ask your questions uh, directly to me or Boris. Uh, or you would raise your hand during the theoretical part, during the presentation, or put your questions in the chat, don't worry. Uh, we will answer everything. So if you have any inquiries, please don't be shy. This is why we all here. Okay, let me sure. start the presentation here. Good. So once again, welcome. Today we are going to talk about one of the miracles of uh, modern medical technology, which is modern new scanner devices, scanner apparatus, uh, which are better, smarter, uh, have more functions than ever before, and that are truly a physiotherapy cabinet in your pocket. So this is truly amazing. We will uh, speak about features, we'll speak about what scanner is, how it works, how can it help it in your daily life or in your uh, practice if you are a medical practitioner. And then in the very end, um, we have our special guest, Boris, who is a medical researcher uh, in Rhythm and one of the creators of the original scanner technology to answer your questions. Okay, so let's begin. So first of all, uh, what you need to know is that Skinner is truly one of a kind device. It is uh, the smartest, the fastest, and the most convenient way of electric treatment if we speak about the modern devices. In uh, like recently, in the last couple of years, Rhythm uh, came out with the most uh, advanced line of professional scanner devices, and it is the most advanced uh, technology ever created uh, by Rhythm since the very beginning of scanner technology. It was designed together with uh, actual doctors and medical practitioners using the decades of, of their experience, using the uh, certain uh, research made in medical institutions in order to fulfill the most demanding uh, professionals. And Skinner was never as fast as it is right now because the newest devices, the newest uh, patented possibilities allow you to uh, reduce the treatment time down to 15 to 20 minutes and get sustainable, uh, reliable, good positive result after your therapy. So uh, really short treatment sessions. Uh, this is absolutely great if you are uh, performing your therapy on a professional way and you have uh, 15, maybe 20 patients a day, this is a lifesaver. Uh, plus only in this these new devices, there are presets with new bio control uh, and a new expert labile mode B4, which allows you to quickly find the uh, problematic areas, quickly identify where you need to apply a uh, scanner signal and quickly analyze and then deliver uh, scanner treatment in uh, 15 minutes and get positive results. According to 36 item uh, survey from the RAND medical outcome study, uh, it turns out, like when we asked our patients, it turns out that Skinner therapy not only helps 
uh, to relieve your pain, but also keeps your body aligned, uh, your muscles uh, and lacrimatory system in good working condition. It relieves the inflammation of joints. It removes edema. It improves the mobility. And when used regularly, uh, bi-weekly or monthly or better, like a short procedure every day, it supports you to live your best life. So Skinner is a perfect addition to your home first aid kit, especially if we talk about the new newest line of professional devices. So it what what is Skinner? It is a simple, non-invasive pain relief device in your pocket, which is proven uh, to be effective by uh, many doctors and by decades of practice. Plus, uh, by it, it is registered as an effective medical device in more than 36 countries. It is a special one device class, so one of a kind, the device of biocontrolled electric stimulation. And we're going to speak about it in uh, this presentation as well. So what is the biocontrolled electric stimulation? Uh, this particularly makes it significantly different from other electric therapy methods. And we will also mention that we will compare Skinner to other existing electric therapies and you will see what exactly is the difference and how Skinner uh, helps your body, how it, it is more effective. It is at the same time a professional electric therapy. So despite it, its small size, by its features and by its uh, possibilities, it is uh, easy to be, um, it is easy to replace by its features the huge electrotherapy or physiotherapy machines that cost thousands of dollars, that take place, that, uh, that are bulky, and they cannot be taken anywhere, unlike Scanner. It is adaptive, multifunctional, interactive therapy because Scanner is a very uh, individualized treatment. Because uh, it, it interacts with your body and makes it the, your body a natural part of the working mechanism uh, of the device. So the body is actually a part of this electric circuit. Uh, it actually allows to change the parameters of the treatment signal in order to uh, make it strongly individual uh, in this particular patient for this particular condition in this particular space. And we will talk about this later as well. It is applicable in almost any situation and it is portable, uh, which is uh, which is great. This, which gives us, uh, gives it numerous treatment capabilities. So first, uh, let's answer the most simple question yet the most complex question, what exactly is Scanner? Uh, the principle of operation of this device and its purpose is encrypted in the very name. If you uh, try to read Scanner in the proper way, it will say self-controlled energa-adaptive neuro-adaptive regulation. So this is what Scanner stands for. What does self-controlled in this case mean? Uh, in all other electric therapies, uh, the signal and the therapy itself is controlled by the operator. So uh, some guy sets uh, all the characteristics of the treatment signal prior to the treatment or during the treatment manually, such as voltage, pulse shape, current strength, uh, frequency characteristics, and et cetera. Uh, Skinner is a smart device. It actually uses the feedback from the patient's body. It uses physical parameters such as uh, skin electrical capacity and others to do all this work by itself. So it is an automatic device. It is self-controlled. It doesn't involve the operator uh, this much. And it is smart. It can adjust its own signal to deliver the better results. And this actually leads us to the next two blocks, energy-adaptive and neuro-adaptive. Energy-adaptive means that the electric current 
its main, two main physical parameters, such as current strength and voltage, is controlled by the device itself. So, uh, and that, that means that if we have the high voltage, we have the low current strength and vice versa. So, uh, two main physical parameters of the signal are set automatically. And neuroadaptive means that the characteristics that are actually important for interacting with the nervous system of our body, such as the frequency characteristics, the uh, internal frequency of the treatment signal, uh, intensity, gap, uh, the, the pace rate of the stimuli, they are all controlled by the device as well depending on the certain characteristics of our body and the body feedback. And the last uh, litera here in the, the very name of Skinner is R, regulation. And this is one of the most interesting features because uh, Skinner helps not only achieve the local results such as pain relief or uh, removing of edema or uh, inflammation. Uh, this, like, to this or that extent, many electric therapies can achieve this result. But Skinner also helps you to uh, launch the process of self rehabilitation. Actually, uh, when we start uh, talking to our, uh, like, to people who started to learn Skinner therapy, we remind them that this is not. Uh, basically, this is not Skinner that does all the magic. This is your body that, that does all the magic. And Skinner is the key that helps to reveal this, this potential and launch the process of self-regulation. So unlike only being able to deliver some local results, Skinner is able to launch the internal mechanisms of our body that helps us to restore faster. And this is how the magic happens. Um, of course, uh, there are certain contraindications that we need to mention. And I'd like to uh, underline that these contraindications are basically not the contraindications applied to uh, to Skinner in particular, but rather the country indications that are required by the FDA. And since FDA does not distinguish Skinner from any other electric therapy, it is a very conservative uh, structure. Skinner is approached as a regular electric therapy. So many of the country indications you see here are just the standard requirements uh, or recommendations for electric therapy from and FDA. Of course, Skinner is registered and approved by the FDA, so we need to uh, put these contraindications here. Uh, we shouldn't use Skinner device on the following patients. First, the patients with any cardiac pacemaker or artificial pacemaker, implanted, implanted defibrillator, uh, sorry, bye, uh, or any uh, implantic, implanted metallic or electronic device in their hearts because this may cause electric shock or malfunction of the device or electrical interference. Uh, also, the patients whose pain syndromes are undiagnosed and there, there is an unknown etiology of their condition. Uh, uh, so, obviously, before uh, doing any skin or therapy, we, we need to know what we're dealing with. So it is recommended to uh, consult with your doctor if you're on if you're not sure what exactly you are crossing. Um, people with individual intolerance of the electric current, uh, super rare condition for uh, more than forty years of developing Skinner technology, we never saw such people with individual electrical intolerance. But just in case, maybe such people exist. Um, patients with severe mental diseases. Uh, and we also don't uh, treat ourselves in case of alcoholic or drug intoxication. Plus, uh, we pay attention to acute infectious diseases of obscure origin. So you need to know exactly what type of pain you are dealing with, again, because, uh, for example, we can... Um, 
deal with peritonitis, you don't know uh, that your appendix is actually hurting, you may remove the pain, but this will not do any better. This will do a, like this will do a bad service. And also in case of prevention, just in case, better safe than sorry, we don't uh, treat in the direct projection of the belly in case of pregnant patients. So these are the contraindications that FDA recommends to other, like for all types of electric therapy. And this is why we need to keep them in mind when we speak about Skinner. So this was just the intro, the general information about the device and technology. Uh, let's talk about Skinner and its characteristics a little bit in particular. So what exactly are the Skinner Pulse features? Uh, here we can look how typical Skinner Pulse looks. Uh, it is a two-phase bipolar pulse with insignificant constant component. The only constant component here is the shape. Uh, and this shape is called neural light because it is uh, it looks close to the uh, nerve pulses produced by our own nervous system. And this is why it is so effective when we communicate with the patient's body. It is similar to myopulses. It is similar to cardiopulses. Uh, it is high amplitude, and yet it is undamaging for our body. And it can do uh, miracles. Plus, it is extremely variable depending on different parameters. Uh, not only, for example, it depends not only on the place where you uh, apply your electrode, such as, for example, we can apply our scanner to the palm directly or the back of the hand, and uh, the, the signal will be different. Or because Skinner is automatically changes its treatment signal according to the feedback from the body. We can see here that signal changes over time, even if we stay at the same position. So we can see how the signal looks after the first second of treatment and after the 30 second of treatment on the same place. Also, like we, we can see that the Skinner pulse changes depending on these these uh, features depending on the treatment duration depending on the skin type the place of application the electrode type type or the type of the contact um so uh skinner impulse is compact short in time and unimpeded it is a signal that the body recognizes as its own and it is not non-habituating, uniquely shaped based on the feedback from the body. Uh, the impulse is constantly changing, supporting an activation of the body's adaptive mechanisms. And uh, because of this dynamic nature, the body will not become tolerant to a Skinner, Skinner signal. The structure chart of Skinner devices includes uh, impulse oscill oscillator, control unit, output cascade, uh, and the therapeutic effect of scanner can be provided by several factors. The peculiarity of scanner treatment signal uh, is the impulse shape that is close to the biological signals of the human nervous system. And these, once again, as said before, are bipolar two-phase damping oscillations that are dynamically changing. Here we can see uh, the pulse features. Uh, the frequency inside these oscillations or the treatment impulse is relatively high from 500 hertz to 100 kilohertz. And the frequency between the oscillations is from 0 0.6 to 500 hertz. Uh, the signal is significantly, significantly changed thanks to the parametrical biological feedback, which changes the signal according to the state of electric scan impedance. All right, somebody is, is not switching their microphone off. Yeah, let's go forward. So, uh, 
Skinner performs the electrical influence on the skin. And uh, what is interesting is that in accordance with the classification of Gasser and uh, Erlanger, if you're a doctor, if you're a neurologist, you should know this classification. There are several types of nervous conductors. There are four types, A type, B type, uh, C type, and Skinner is able to activate all of the nerve fibers in our body, unlike other electrical therapy. So uh, this is the classification that I just mentioned. These are all fiber types that can be successfully uh, successfully addressed by Skinner. These are the mnemonics to help you uh, remember the function uh, a particular fiber type is uh, is responsible for. And so if we, for example, take tense, and we will talk about this later during the next slides, if we take tense or if we take HVPC or other types of uh, electric therapy, we are not able to activate all four types of uh, nerve fibers at once if we're not using skin art. It is very wide by its possibilities and functions, especially if we speak about the newest devices. So uh, basically what we do, we communicate with uh, the central or autonomous nervous system of our body, and we perform the live interaction. We form the system that that consists of two equal parts, the scanner device that forms the signal and delivers it to the patient's body, and the patient's body, which is also an organic part of the system, and it self-regulates the parameters of the treatment signal because it is the part of the circuit. And actually, if we open the patent for scanner device, it does not only... Uh, uh, it, it is not only about the device itself, it is about the system. It is about the system of interaction between the certain device and the body. And uh, we are able to read the feedback from the body and we are able to visualize it. And we use such parameters as reaction, uh, which is measured in microseconds. And reaction is uh, like, if you're interested in uh, physical, terms, it is the duration of the first half wave of the stimulus. We can analyze the shape coefficient, which is the average number of half waves uh, during the first phase of the stimulus. And we are able to read the speed or how uh, how quickly the dynamics goes, how quickly the, the scanner changes its signal dep depending on the feedback in percentage per second. And these are pure physics, actually. If we go inside, there is no magic. This is physics. And we can see how fast or how good the dialogue between the device and the body is happening. And it's all inside that small machine. And uh, there are a lot of uh, mathematics and physics we can talk about. Uh, but let's focus on the positive outcomes of what we can get from this. So this is just to illustrate uh, the things that I previously said. So this is the scanner pulse. And we can see that uh, even despite the pretty high uh, voltage, 324 volts here, for example, the scanner signal is yet undamaging for the human cells. So uh, if we take the newer Skinner devices, what are the characteristics that could be found inside every professional device? First, there are uh, the main characteristics that you may change, which are the treatment energy, the frequency, the frequency modulation, intensity plus gap, amplitude modulation, damping, swing modes, and modes of biocontrolled feedback, which also includes the presets, plus the dosing modes and diagnostics. So there is a huge load of features. We like, and some of them are 
never before realized in the previous versions. And of course, there are different types of add-on electrodes that helps you to widen your possibilities and uh, achieve even better results and uh, make your signal uh, more deep, for example, if you want to work with the deep muscles or deep nerves, uh, or uh, aim your treatment depending on the type of condition you are working with. Be that a uh, neurological condition or chronic condition or uh, locomotor system problem or muscles or something else. There is truly almost no boundaries for Skinner if we speak about uh, treatment of human body. So uh, let me give you a very brief explanation of each of the main uh, manual features that you can find in your main menu that you can change. So uh, if you are new to the device, if you uh, have no idea what it is, I will try to give you a small insight. So first parameter we have is called the treatment energy. Basically, this is the first thing that people usually discover when they hold scanner device in their hands for the first time and try to play, play around with it and figure out how it works. So uh, at some point you will discover the plus and minus button and you will find that if you plus uh, press the plus button, uh, you start feeling something when you apply the electrode to the skin. It is already a very powerful feature because this is basically our, um, our site for this uh, device because it helps us to choose the treatment target. Uh, because when we increase or decrease the treatment energy, that means that we either make our treatment more local or more general. So I'm not going to give a lot of details here, but this scheme helps you to uh, understand which particular treatment energy you need to set on, depending on the problem you're dealing with. Uh, say we are dealing with trauma which is clearly a local problem. Maybe it's a cut, maybe it's a bruise, maybe it's a burn of some kind. In this case, we know that we are going to perform local therapy. What does that mean? The therapy in particular skin area in which it hurts. So it is a local problem. So in this case, we will be working with higher treatment energy local therapy, and we will assign the treatment energy that corresponds to certain body structure we need to focus on. For example, we want to focus on the muscles or the soft tissues. We're doing massage or we are working with the muscle trauma. In this case, we will be working on high treatment energy and we'll be using the conductive gloves or uh, add-on electrodes called, called the pons. Or Let's say we're dealing with a chronic condition, insomnia. We cannot say where it hurts in any particular moment. It is not a local complaint. Or uh, this is kind of a complaint that only hurts at certain periods uh, a day, not when we are meeting our doctor or scanner therapist. In this case, we're performing systemic therapy. And we will be treating the so-called general treatment zones, low treatment energy, which like sometimes you will not even feel from your device because there is no sensations, but it doesn't mean that your device is not working. So this already is a powerful tool that helps you to identify how to build your therapy depending on the condition of your patient. And this is only one parameter that you can regulate. There's also frequency that helps you to determine the depth of your treatment, depending on the body structure you're aiming for. There is intensity that helps you uh, overcome that issue when you need to use the high treatment energy. You really need to use it because you're dealing with acute trauma, but it is discomfortable for your patient. And intensity is your cheat code that helps you to keep the high treatment energy you need and still make it comfortable for the people you are working with. So intensity is only present 
in professional scanner devices, the newest as well. And it is one of the coolest features that distinguish it from more simple devices. There is a gap, which is the controllable feature of intensity that also helps you focusing the depth of your treatment depending on the structure you're aiming at. For example, if you are a cosmetologist and you know that you only need to focus on the surface vessels under the epidermis, and you may use uh, the gap to precisely put your scanner signal in this uh, particular skin layer. And there are more. I'm not covering all other uh, features that you may find in there, such as swings or damping. We have special schools and uh, uh, training webinars that uh, goes from zero to advanced uh, and tells you how to apply scanner in this or that situation. Today, we are going to uh, give you as many uh, under as much understanding about this technology of how you can apply it, how it works, and why it is, it is good and where it can be used. So you uh, can have the general knowledge uh, of should you have it in your pocket, should you have it in your uh, home to treat your family, to treat your friends or people you love. Uh, so this is why we go next. Remember, Previously, we were speaking about Skinner being uh, different from all other methods of electric therapy. And this is some more facts about uh, this particular statement. So this diagram uh, is pretty self-descriptive and it shows all four types of nerve fibers that we previously mentioned. So there is A, uh, B fibers, C fibers, and the motor fibers. And you can see uh, all other electric therapies that currently exist uh, in the medical sphere, such as microcurrent uh, therapy or convention conventional TENS therapy. Everybody knows what TENS is. Uh, HVPC, low rate TENS, uh, electric, electroacupuncture. And you see that all of these therapies are rather narrow in their field of applications. So, for example, uh, TENS can only work with two uh, particular types of nerve fibers, or electric electroacupuncture only works with C fibers, but not with A fibers. But there is only one technology on the market that can be as universal to give you the the full control and the full hand of of possibilities to work with all four types of nervous fibers this tank uh square pink rectangle shows uh the possibilities of the built-in electrode of your skinner device but if we also take the add-on electrodes such as the pawns that can be connected to your Skinner device, it significantly significantly widens the possibilities. And this is why you uh, need to have all, at least one add-on electrode, such as Pons or Double Cosmetic, uh, that helps you to work with C-fibers if you are looking forward to do this. Uh, in this uh, particular comparison, we compare Skinner with TENS, microcurrent therapy, diadynamic currents, or Bernard's currents, interference therapy, uh, and me es or neuromuscular electric stimulation, Russian stimulation, which is also called SMT, or mid-frequency therapy, or AmpliPulse, and the high-voltage power supply, HVPC. So what we see here, uh, this is the full comparison to other therapies. And the green color here represents the similar characteristics. Uh, yellow and uh, brown squares here represent that these 
uh, characteristics are not similar or only somewhat similar. And we can see that Skinner has the widest possible range here, which makes it very unique and very individual. The only uh, technology which is more or less uh, close to Skinner by some features is HVPC. But it is much more expensive. It requires expertise to operate. And it is absolutely not that portable than Skinner. So Skinner can allow you to achieve great results you can have with the huge, more expensive devices and only in some medical facilities. But you can have it at home. You can have it in your hand. Um, I already said a lot of fancy words. So let's try to give it a little bit of proof. And let's talk about the scientific background of Skinner. Of course, it is not a magic wand. It has the certain scientific uh, research behind it. Uh, it was invented in 1980, and it has uh, more than four decades of development since then. And the, of course, there were mistakes. They were, uh, there were uh, actual patients. There were thousands of cases. There were uh, hundreds of thousands of people who worked with Skinner. There were hundreds of uh, of scientists, and there were million hours of practice. All scientific background Skinner accumulated over the decades can be divided into three big groups. First, we have the scientific research, uh, something that Boris was already doing <laughs> for more than 20 years now. Uh, this is a pure scientific research, which uh, is not uh, made in, like, this is not something particular about Skinner. This is just the research on the mechanisms of how it works. So, for example, this is a theoretical research, uh, and it has the research on synchronization of, of brain rhythms balancing the autonomous nervous system, activation of nerve fibers, regeneration in wound healing, antioxidant effect, and anti-hypoxic effect. <laughs> well, by the way, an interesting fact for you to know, uh, Skinner appears to be more effective than traditional antioxidant drugs. So this is pretty cool, if you ask me. Also, we have the actual clinical research, obviously. So there were uh, there were actual patients in actual medical institutions. Everything was recorded. There were control groups. There were uh, experimental groups. There were comparisons of with uh, some. Uh, like there were comparisons between them with the traditional treatment and Skinner treatment delivered to uh, the same the patients with same conditions, and. By doing the clinical research, we proved that Scanner has antioxidant effect. It has positive uh, effect on activation of synogenesis or the internal restoration of the body, the process of self-rehabilitation. Uh, it is good in treatment of diseases of internal organs. Uh, it is great in treatment of the musculoskeletal system. And it is proven by numerous cases and uh, recordings. Uh, it is. Uh, it was applied for decades in pediatrics. And uh, we have a wonderful doctor, uh, Yuri Perfiliev, with more than 40 years in pediatrics already. Uh, and uh, more than 20 of them, he worked with Skinner and his little patients. Uh, it was applied in obstetrics and gynecolo gynecology, and also, obviously, pain treatment. And also, uh, the third type of works we have here is the equivalent electric therapy research. So this is where Skinner was compared to some certain kind of already existed, uh, existing electric therapy. And we uh, tried to figure out which works better in terms of electroporation, uh, electropermeabilization, ATP synthesis, uh, and nerve action potential decrease. 
and in many cases, uh, the uh, actually one of the outcomes of all these research was this table where we summarize uh, all the differences between scanner and different technologies. So, uh, enough of the background. Let's go to what scanner actually can do. So, what do you can what do you can expect from your scanner device if you will uh, have the professional newest model? It will have two types of positive effects that you can achieve with your patient or the person you're treating. First, there will be local effects and there will be systemic effects. Local effects are is something that happens directly in the place you are treating at this very moment. Something that happens under the electrode. And there is obviously the analgesic or anti-pain effect. This is the first and foremost foremost that scanner is all about. If something hurts, this is your uh this is your mean uh to to eliminate and reduce the pain. So anti-pain effect. Second is the anti-edematic effect and the, infect, the effect of lymphatic drainage. Uh, we have some wonderful pictures, not sure if, this, if in this presentation, where we have people before the surgery with huge swelling, huge edema, only, and only after one skin or treatment of 30 minutes, we took another picture and it shows the edema almost decreased back to normal. This is truly amazing. Uh, Anti-inflammatory effect, the effect of mild stimulation, especially if you are uh, doing massage professionally or if you are a physiotherapist. The effect of increased blood circulation, the effect of increased permeability of tissues and uh, the increased traficity of tissues. All that can be achieved in relatively short time, uh, sometimes during only one treatment session in local, some certain local area. And there is a group of systemic effects. And this is something that we apply when we speak about chronic conditions of our patients. What we can achieve? We can achieve the effect of general regulation and the effect of sonogenesis. Sonogenesis is a complex of measures inside our body, which involves the neurohumoral regulation. This is something like the, to describe the mechanisms by which our autonomous nervous system, the actual driver of our body, controls many features that we cannot control consciously, such as sweating, uh, sexual excitement, uh, digestive processes, uh, production of different hormones, adrenaline, etc., etc. Numerous processes that we cannot control by ourselves. And the effect of sonogenesis is something that appears when we launch that mechanism and we give the body the necessary resources to start the process of self-restoration if it is unable to do it on its own. Uh, we are able to achieve the effect of antioxidant systems activation. We are able to balance and stabilize the central nervous system and the autonomous nervous system of our body. And we are able to activate the immune response in case we are dealing with some kind of infection or chronic condition. So this diagram helps you to visualize what actually your scanner device can do, your professional scanner device can do. And this is truly amazing. We see that uh, we have three types of implants in here, electric current, high voltage alternating treatment, electric current, medium voltage alternating, and high voltage alternating. That depends on First, the electrode you use and the type of contact uh, you use. We'll also speak about that uh, because you can use the built-in electrode of your device, the add-on electrode in which you can uh, regulate the distance 
between the two ponds, for example, or you can use the conductive gloves and uh, there will be a wet type of contact because you need to make them wet. And depending on that, you can achieve absolutely different positive effects. Uh, just a picture uh, for you to uh, show some illustration of how you can work with your uh, built-in uh, scanner electrodes. So now let's give even more details on each of the effects that are important for home treatment. And first and foremost, of course, is the anti-pain effect of skin art. Uh, the anti-pain effect of skin art is multidimensional. First, it is achieved by treatment of the nerve pathways, which reduce the painful sens sensations. And second, by treatment of the receptors that also decreases pain. Third, the scanner signal can travel far enough by the nerve fibers to influence the mechanism if the pain gate can crow. Uh, fourth, the effect of influencing tissue cells in reducing the histamine production also can be considered anti-pain feature and also can be achieved by Skinner. And one more anti-pain Skinner effect is caused by increased production of endorphins and uh, encephalins, which also reduces pain. So all of these things can be achieved with only one device. Besides that, we have the wonderful anti edematic effect, or anti edematous. What is the correct way to pronounce it? Anti edematic effect and the effect of lymphatic drainage. Uh, Skinner is the best device up to date for treatment of edema and lymphedema. By using special electrodes, it is possible to effectively treat edema after, for example, oncology surgeries. The reason of the high quality anti treatment is the multiple shapes of Skinner treatment. For example, high frequency electromassage of tissues, uh, tissue vibration, influence of high frequency alternated, uh, alternating electric current of the tissue liquid, the viscosity of the intertissue liquid decreases which makes for excretion of already less viscose intertissue liquid from the affected zone. Besides, uh, as a result of tissue vibrations, the alternating electric field massages it from the inside, which improves the drainage functions of the lymphatic system. And this is truly amazing. Also, uh, we can see that we are able to achieve the anti-inflammatory local effect. We can improve the local metabolism of cells and increase the production of ATP. We improve the phagocyte activity. Um, we accelerate the process of diapedesis. We improve the production of antioxidants. Uh, the, uh, improve the nervous regulation of the tissue. Improve the tissue permeabilization the traficity, and uh, obviously the lymphatic drainage that we already mentioned in the previous slide. Unlike uh, any other electrotherapy methods, Skinner device's myostimulation is absolutely safe. And uh, the reason for that is its algorithm. The muscle should obtain the physiological opportunity to contract and do the work only after this. So first, thanks to the electroporation effect, the work of ion channels and local metabolism are improved. The synthesis of ATP in mitochondria is increased and the nerve conductivity is improved as well. The muscle contractions begin when the muscle is ready to contract when it is ready to work. During treatment with the same energy, the quality of work is increased. First muscle contractions can be barely noticeable, but literally after several minutes and more, 
uh, after several minutes, uh, the muscles begin to contract more and more and more. In case of Skinner treatment, uh, there is no risk of damaging the muscles with hyperstimulation. The muscles are not forced to contract. It uh, they does so they do so because they receive the order similar to the one of the nervous system itself, and this is truly amazing. And like I said previously, we are able to obtain not only local, but also the general outcome from our Skinner therapy. Uh, and to reduce pain or remove pain is not our only task. Our task sometimes is to treat the chronic disease. It's caused to the center, sorry, the central effect. And uh, the central effect of Skinner stimulation uh, was found consisting of the generalized activity of the cerebral cortex and hypothalamic structures. And among them, the leading role is played by the activation of the anterior hypothalamus accompanied by an increase in parasympathetic tone. So the high correlation of activation of the anterior hypothalamus with an increase in alpha-like activity in the occipital leads was confirmed by the research that we already mentioned, the visual cortex of the brain. Uh, so the effect of Skinner stimulation persists in after effect and can be detected only one day after the stimulation. So we are able to uh, launch the mechanisms that are general by their nature. Stimulation of the hypothalamus regulates the hormonal control of our body, while activation of autonomous nervous system maintains the, our homeostatic balance. Um, I would say that uh, I, I said a lot about sonogenesis already, and I think I need to give you a little bit of explanation uh, of this term once more. So sonogenesis is uh, a production from the Latin work, uh, Latin word senus, healthy, and Greek word uh, genesis, appearing. Uh, complex sonogenesis is a complex of protective and adaptive mechanisms occurring in our body that a that are aimed at restoration of disturbed self-regulation of the body. It is regulated by the nervous system, mainly by the central nervous system. And some of examples of sonogenic reactions are excessive sweating uh, when it is hot, uh, digestive or inflammatory leukocytosis, uh, increased heartbeat when we do the workout, um, and during some heart diseases. So sonogenic reactions occur both in psychological, physiological, and pathological states. In pathological state, they help the body to overcome the disorders and rehabilitate. And development and end of a disease depends on interaction between the sonogenic reactions with the pathogenic factors. And this is when Skinner comes into place, comes on the scene. What are the biophysical Skinner effects? The electrostatic vibration of the tissue under the electrode, which helps to uh, improve the traficity of tissues, uh, improve the viscosity of tissues, everything that we already mentioned. The electroporation and electropermeabilization that even helps Skinner to, uh, to deliver some uh, treatment into the body being non-invasive. So, so no invasive delivery. Directing electric potentials on the nerve fibers and the induced potentials. Decreasing the transmembrane cell action potential of the nerve fibers and decreasing this transmembrane action potential of mitochondria, which are the power batteries of our cells. So, 
uh, what are the targets of scanner therapy? What we can do with this? Uh, there are three main targets that we can mention. That we can mention: the autonomous nervous system, which is the driver of the body; the central nervous system, which is the executive um, power of the body or the legislator of, of the body, and the local treatment, the tissues under the electrode, which are the skin, the subcutaneous tissues, muscles, blood vessels, etc. So we have three big blocks we can address depending on the problem we're dealing with. And this scheme helps you to uh, visualize what we just said. So this is already a helpful guide because the first question you need to answer when you're holding your scanner device in hand before you start your therapy is, what exactly am I dealing with? And the second question is, what result am I trying to achieve? The correct answers to these two questions will always help you to build the correct way of treatment and the possibilities, the endless possibilities of newest professional scanner device will help you to achieve them much faster, much uh, more convenient. And thanks to the unique uh, features that we included in the newest devices, uh, you don't have to be a doctor or a certified uh, specialist to achieve these results because the presets, the automatic settings of the device allow you even not being, uh, even not being a medical worker uh, achieve fantastic outcomes. So, uh, the reaction phase, the second phase of the scanner signal is already a result of the communication be between the scanner device and the body. Remember I said that the scanner signal has two phases. So the reaction phase is the second phase. There is the pumping phase, number one, and the reaction phase. Uh, the good example here is uh, the pumping phase is when we stretch the bow and the reaction is when we shoot the arrow. So the more we stretch, the faster the arrow will fly and the more distance we can cover. So when we increase the energy level, increase the treatment energy, we stretch, we increase the duration of the first phase, which is called the pumping. And depending on the energy level, the communication happens between the device and the different body structures as shown uh, later in the table. So if we put small energy, the patient cannot feel anything, but that doesn't mean that the device is not working. That means that we are delivering the sub-threshold level of energy and we are communicating directly with the autonomous nervous system. And this is the case when we're dealing with the chronic diseases. Uh, when we increase the energy and start to shoot our bow and stretch it more and more and more, we switch our target from the autonomous nervous system to the central nervous system. The more we increase the energy, the more localized our treatment becomes. So you can imagine that when we are in the energy one, we treat the entire body. When we are in energy 100, we treat only under the electrode. So successful treatment algorithm, if we make it very general, if we generalize, looks like this. We go from weak influence, from small treatment energy to the medial, medium treatment energy, and to the higher treatment energy when we treat locally. So this is the correct way to go. There are several exceptions, of course, but the general systemic therapy algorithm, I underline systemic therapy algorithm when we're dealing with chronic diseases, looks like this. We go from smaller treatment energy to bigger treatment energy. And our goal is to reduce pain and rehabilitate quickly. So uh, another 
another thing that I need to mention about the new devices is, of course, the new treatment possibilities. What is why, why are these new professional devices so special? Because there are multi-dimensional bio-controlled presets, uh, presets with guaranteed effect, something that can help you even if you don't know how to do protocols, even if you don't have experience working with scanner technology, if you are completely new to all of these, you don't have to uh, go through piles of literature. You don't have to memorize some things. This is There are some presets that already can help you switch on your device and start working. So uh, what are these? The new device has new patented therapeutic possibilities which is called the multi-dimensional biocontrol. The multi-dimensional biocontrol allows to automatically optimize your treatment to make it the most effective and comfortable. The system of presets with guaranteed effect and the newest uh, treatment mode, which we never released before, the, in the modulation of intensity. Uh, the professional scanner device has never been so effective. In new uh, device series, we certified the bio modes with the FDA. There are three types of bio modes. The bio frequency, when the frequency is changed according to a certain law, uh, depending on how the conditions under the electrode, the conditions of the patient's body are changing. The bio intensity, so uh, that means that the number of pulses inside the pulse batch can change and the distance between them can change depending on the feedback from the body. And in new devices with presets with intensity, the gap is also changing automatically. So we can see four dimensions here, four dimensions uh, of the presets. There are presets where only the treatment signal can change automatically, uh, where the gap and the treatment signal can change automatically. Then we also add intensity, and then we also add the pulse rate. Also, we were the first in the world who created the possibility of labile screening. So labile screening mode is when we can move our scanner electrode and in real time find the spots on the skin that are the most responsive for potential treatment. So this is a unique feature you can you cannot find anywhere else. This is super simple, super self-descriptive, uh, visualized mode with a very simple way of operation. If you are dealing with a large painful area and you don't want to spend half an hour uh, with single scanner applications, uh, applying into the dose, writing down the numbers, comparing them, uh, and doing everything that you did uh, previously with previously previous versions of scanner devices, here you simply switch on the D4 mode, you slide the electrode down the skin, and the device immediately, instantly shows you what are the zones that are the most optimal for treatment. You can spend seconds finding the spot for further treatment and for applying the dose. This system is truly amazing. So even the such as big area as spine can be analyzed only in one minute. This is how it looks like. So, uh, we can see the two versions. Uh, this on the left, you can see the dose four, which is present in professional devices. So you simply slide the, the, the electrode down the skin and depending on how many bars you see on the screen and how many clicks you hear, the more effect, the more active is this particular points, uh, point and the more responsive it will be 
for the treatment. And we have the same mode in our newer home devices, but in home devices, it is called the D2 mode. Has the same mechanism, but uh, it only has four monochrome bars instead of that. Here you can see all 32 presets that you can find only in professional scanner device of new uh, line. For example, the scanner Super Pro V2. Nowhere else, not in the previous uh, professional scanners, not in other uh, not in other devices. And you need to keep in mind that 24 out of those 32 presets have biocontrol. And you choose the desired preset uh, or desired effect of necessary treatment type, depending on the problem that you're dealing with. And scanner will do the rest for you, whether it's fast aid after trauma, whether it's subacute, where it's chronic pain, or point pain or local pain, or if you are trying to perform systemic therapy and need to treat the symmetrical joint, for example, or do the myo stimulation, or do the after sports massage, it doesn't matter. Skinner is super universal and will help you in any case. All Skinner techniques has the analgetic effect. To enhance it, uh, special analgetic aids are additionally applied. So Skinner impulse parameters are grouped according uh, to certain application purposes. So uh, the built-in combinations of settings or presets allows, allow you to quickly apply the correct set of functions for the therapy of a given patient. Um, for example, let's say, uh, the preset acute trauma, uh, high intensity, high frequency stimulation included in this preset has a calming effect on excessive or very active processes in the body. Widely used in inflammatory reactions, muscle uh, hypertonicity and to reduce edema, for example. Uh, think of a situation such as acute uh, post-surgery trauma, inflammation of the bursa, inflammation of the tendons, and other uh, fascia-related complaints with stabbing pain. A package of calming scanner signals sent to the brain says, calm down here and now. It then listens for microseconds to make sure the message was understood after which the conversation continues. It acts as a management coach. Even though it is still very important to understand the physics and philosophy of scanner therapy, to know what settings like frequency, frequency modulation, amplitude modulation, intensity gap uh, mean and how they change scanner signal, we encourage our therapists to use scanner devices with presets uh, to enhance the effectiveness and to reduce the time of the treatment. So this is why professional devices are much better than the previous scanner iterations. So uh, scanner allows you to actively combine electrical stimulation with other interactive methods at the same time. We uh, say that the best outcomes can achieve can be achieved when you uh when you merge your skinner treatment into the tr into the traditional treatment it is perfectly combined with drugs with doctor prescriptions uh passive or active exercise techniques including stretching muscle contractions and resistance exercises everything can be performed with skinner it all works in complex and gives amazing results. Uh, the placement of electrodes on the skin is based on constant feedback from the patient and can be changed dynamically. The procedure begins from the spot of your greatest pain or spots of tightness or restriction. And the therapist must work 
interactively during the procedure to respond to every single change or dynamics in symptoms during the procedure. So you must build a good rapport with your patient. So when the pain changes its location or uh, intensity or something changes during the, the therapy, you need to address these dynamics and these changes. Uh, before and after the procedure, uh, you need to run the patient examination to see uh, what did you, what have you done, what are the outcomes, whether or not there was a positive dynamics. So, for example, you can ask your patient before the procedure, how strong is your pain? Can you characterize it? Uh, can you put it a uh, mark from 1 to 10? And your patient says 7. You do the treatment. For example, you 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 choose the fast aid preset, and after ten minutes, you ask your patient, "So, how severe it is now?" And he says, "Oh, it's now three out of ten or two out of 10. And this is how you know that we are that you are on the right track. Acute and chronic pain uh, is also something that we can. Uh, address and pain is often an indicator of when to stop moving. However, if movement is stopped completely, if, for example, you know that uh, you did a very uh, a very unlucky move and your and your bone or your back froze. If the movement stopped completely, it can lead to permanent permanent mobility deficit. For example, frozen shoulder. Everybody knows what sh frozen shoulder is. And scanner therapy can be a key element in this particular case of uh, the rehabilitation plan for best effectiveness using training and active exercising uh, to stimulate healing. When we use a tense machine, electrical stimulation may become ineffective because skin resistance changes over time, even during one, ses one session, due to the muscle activity and sweating. If the resistance increases, the electric stimulation may not penetrate. And the resist if the resistance decreases, the electrical stimulation may become uncomfortable. But scanner device interacts through the electrical capacitance, and the condition of the skin does not affect its effectiveness. This is what, and also, scanner is the only, one and only electric therapy device that can work through oiled skin without the loss of effectiveness. It even can work with a dielectric. So if you do an experiment and take, say, the ponds uh, and put them in a thin dielectric medical glove and try to treat your patient with a uh, with an electrode wrapped in a medical glove, it still will be working, uh, unlike the other therapy devices. So this is an example of how we can use scanner to treat the frozen shoulder. And this is the actual outcome. Or uh, we can use the pawns here, and there are certain algorithms and uh, treatment schemes that we can apply to every single joint depending on which electrode we're using and all these is uh the result of decades of doctors applying scanner on different patients we can also use scanner therapy for preventive care for example prevent Preparatory scanner procedures significantly improve the overall postoperative picture and contribute to a multiple reduction in the number of possible complications. Performing a cycle of preparatory scanner procedures provides activation of the lymphatic system and blood vessels, which accelerates epithelization and reduces post-surgery edema. Local effects of an impulse are manifested by activation of blood microcirculation processes and improvement, improvement of tissue trophism, not only in the zone of a local skin or treatment, but also in the internal organs associated with this area of the skin. Improvement of microcirculation forms 
the morphofunctional basis of anti-inflammatory, anti-dematous, uh, and hypotensive effects of Skinner therapy. It is interesting to say that Skinner not only dilates the vessels when they are in the same state of spasm, but also narrows the vessels when they are dilated. And the clinical cases show that the healing effect of plastic wounds with the help of preparatory skin or therapy is obvious and occur much faster. We can also use Skinner to prevent such condition as the osteoporosis, which is a bone disease when bones lose their strength and can break even with a slight load. Preventive use of Skinner therapy contributes to the improvement of well-being and the normalization of the activity of the systems that are responsible for the metabolism and uh, contributing to the normal functioning of which the condition of the bones depends. Plus, uh, we can work not only with the bones, but with skin, muscles, lymphatic and blood vessels, uh, moisturize, moisturize the deep layers of the skin, improve the blood circulation, remove toxins, stimulate the restoration of the normal physiological activity of cells. Skinner is also a great cosmetology mean, and we have uh, a wonderful cosmetology school that shows how we work with micro traumas, small muscles, how we uh, remove the garbage from our face, how we work with the lymphatic system, because we can see that Skinner cosmetology gives stable and long-term results in lifting, in removing wrinkles for any degree of a problematic skin condition. And uh, moreover, all of the above seems uh, and sounds pretty much fantastic, but at the same time, Skinner is pretty easy to learn comparing to other technologies and devices. Physiotherapists with zero Skinner experience will learn how to treat various cases in few hours. But I, I'm speaking about physiotherapists. If you are not a physiotherapist, if you are not a doctor, it will take a bit longer, but still it is possible to learn Skinner even if you are not a medical worker. New treatment methods and protocols and presets especially are simple and easy to understand. And this is the cutting edge technology, the methods that have obvious scientific background, and this is the future of pain relief, no less. And uh, just a small mention after our theoretical block is that you can widen your Skinner experience and possibilities of your device by the add-on electrodes. For example, the calm electrode, if we treat alopecia, which allows you not to shave your patient's head, which is very important sometimes, uh, even if we speak about psychological condition of your patient. Uh, we have wonderful results and pictures from actual cases of treatment of alopecia, who is Skinner. So the calm electrode can help in treatment of hairy areas. Uh, we can use the facial electrode for cosmetology or working with children in pediatrics because obviously children are small, uh, small people and we need to use smaller electrode when we, for example, work with their back and the general treatment zones, such as three passways, six points. We can use, for example, the point electrode in dentistry when we are about to decrease the severe stabbing uh, tooth pain. Or if we are uh, working in uh, like with the locomotor system, if you're a kinesiotherapist or physiotherapist, you can use conductive gloves to deliver uh, better, like to, to have better control over muscles and your patient's body. And these gloves can do miracles. And in 20 minutes or even 10 minutes, you can uh, make your patient feel like he or she 
was receiving a massage from a sumo guy for two hours straight. Um, we need to keep in mind that depending on the type of the add-on electrode, I mentioned that earlier, we have different types of skin connection. It may be dry connection, oil connection, water-based, or gel-based. And we see pretty much, uh, like this table was pretty much self-descriptive, uh, that depending on uh, the type of contact, the depth of influence can also be uh, determined. So, for example, if we, like, say, we, we take the coxal metal electrode or built-in electrode with oiled connection, we'll have medium superficial uh, influence. Or if we take ponds and oil the skin, we'll have the deep uh, influence, we'll have the deep treatment if we're trying to reach the deep internal organs or deep muscles. So uh, I guess we are ready to switch to questions. You can see uh, this massive list of references of scientific works that were used uh, in scanner research and to prepare this presentation. If you're interested, we can uh, you, you can read it. You have the materials provided by Tamara earlier. Uh, I would like to thank Tamara and Rhythm Scanner USA. And I guess we are good to start with the questions. So I would ask you um, to switch on your microphones or write your questions in the chat. I already see some questions in there. And like I said previously, we have Boris Kolersky, one of the specialists of RhythmoKB and one of the creators of the technology, one of the researchers. Awesome. Thank you, Olga. Yes, uh, thank, All right. you. Mm -hmm. thank you, my dear colleague. Thank you for your webinar. Thank you, uh, Roman. Uh, thank you, Tamara. Uh, thank you for your question. Uh, you're always welcome, Boris. It is so heartwarming to see so many people uh, being here today and interested in skin art therapy. Uh, I wish you all the best, and uh, I wish to apply the best practices and uh, have the best skin art devices and grow uh, and grow and uh, bring uh, health into your patients. Thank you, guys. Uh -huh. Well, thank you. Use the scanner devices. Uh, use it uh, to read with the scanner devices. And thank you for your shows with scanner devices. See you again. Bye. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see you again. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.